Hi everyone, this is Jesse here. Welcome or welcome back. I am so excited that you're here and today I cannot contain my excitement. I have my Mother's Day gift slash bag unboxing and I'm getting really nervous and I just want to open this bag immediately. So let's get started. I have been eyeing this bag for such a long time. I just never purchased it because it was a little bit too much for what I was buying. But when I saw it for $200 off, this bag retails for $4.98. Um, it is now on sale for $2.99. And I saw it in the color that I absolutely love. I was like, nope, this is my Mother's Day gift. Don't worry about getting me anything. This is what I want. Um, and I am so excited to open this. Oh my gosh, okay. I hope this isn't a fail. I hope it's not a fail. It won't be, it won't be, it'll be fine. Okay, so this is from Tori Birch. Whoops, I don't want it to fall all over the place. So that's from Tori Birch. Every time you get something from her, you always get this like little note that says, thank you, empowering women, that's all great. I want to get into the bag right now. Here's my receipt. And then what's this? Oh my gosh, the note. From your boys, we love you. Happy Mother's Day. You know I'm never getting rid of this bag. It was gift wrapped for me, of course. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay. I love the uh, storage bags, they're super cute. Here it is. You just um, do something really quick. All right, I'm back. So here's the bag, I haven't peeked in it yet. It comes in its little dust bag. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. And it's gonna be facing the right way. Oh my goodness, okay, I'm so excited. This is the Tory Birch small Fleming convertible shoulder bag, but it is in cloud blue. And this blue, oh my goodness, this blue is beautiful. You know I love a blue bag. You know I love me a blue bag. Um, but my goodness, this is gorgeous. First impressions off the bat, I love it i loved it online the color is a little bit different but it's actually a color that i prefer more over the color that's online and i'll show you the comparison now just off memory the picture online looks a little bit more like a gray blue this is like a this is like a this is more blue than it is gray and it is absolutely stunning okay i'm gonna take all the wrapping off of it and then i'll be back All right, I am back. I took everything off. I have a feeling that this bag was already worn or maybe it was like in the store and somebody put it on or it was returned or something. I mean, I had all the wrappings for the most part, but the wrapping that it was missing was in the inside of the bag in the zipper pull. Tory Burch usually uh, wraps those little zipper pulls in the inside. You just slide it off. It wasn't on there. And then there was um, something else that I noticed that wasn't wrapped. I can't remember right now, but either way, I've already inspected the bag. It looks perfect. I'm so excited uh, to have this in my collection. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into all the details, but I just want to soak in this moment. This bag is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I cannot believe I snagged it at the price that I did. Um, let me go ahead and give you a 360. I'm dying to try it on. Let me go ahead and give you a 360 so you can see it all there. There's the bottom and it comes with a tassel. It comes with a tassel that is removable. You could take the tassel off. Super cute. My goodness, I can't believe it. This is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn you around and give you all the specifics on this bag and then we're gonna go over what fits in it and then I'm gonna try it on. All right, so here she is. So beautiful. It's coming across a little bit more grayish and it is blue on camera i'm gonna go ahead and take it outside really quick so you can see what it looks like in the sunlight but just know it's a little bit more bluer than this let's go ahead and do a 360. there's the side the back you have that nice puffy quilting this is napa leather by the way and you have the smooth leather on the front flap and then here oh that's a strong magnet like yeah. <laughs> this is pretty strong and it has an actual functional back pocket. I don't think I would put my phone in here because I wouldn't want this to stretch, but it's an option. There's the side. 
Here's the bottom. It has a little nick there, but I don't mind. All right, so some facts from the website. I have it right here pulled up. The height is 5.3 inches. The length is 8.3 inches, so from here to here. And then the depth is 2.6 inches across. Um, again, this is Napa leather. It has a flap with a magnetic snap closure. And it's pretty strong, like it just finds itself <laughs> and then it completely shuts. So like, make sure you don't have your finger caught up in here because it's, it's, there you go. You see, it just finds itself nicely. And then the edges are perfectly glazed all around. So beautiful. All right, it has a non-adjustable and non-removable chain, um, but it has a 22.2 inch drop. And then there are three ways that you can carry this, actually four. Um, there's three different heights, depending on how tall you are or how high or low you want the bag to sit. I've watched other reviews on this and I'm gonna try it out myself and I'll show you how to uh, shorten it or make it longer. And it's a pretty heavy chain. It's not really that that heavy where it'll be uncomfortable, but it is a pretty good chain and it has that leather woven into it. Uh, and what I like about the strap is that it also features the like leather portion so that when you're wearing this crossbody or on the shoulder, you don't have this chain like digging into your skin. This provides a lot of comfort, especially when you're wearing a crossbody and it's up against your neck you're gonna want this. And what I also like about this chain is that this part is not so, it doesn't take up that much of the chain. So it's uh, relatively short compared to the rest of the chain. So let's go ahead and get inside of the bag. It's just one compartment. You have a zippered, sorry, you have a zippered back compartment uh, here, which the zipper is pretty smooth, but this is a very narrow compartment. Like maybe you can put a credit card in there, but personally, I don't know if it's worth me scratching my nails and my fingers to get in and out of this compartment. So I probably won't put anything in there. And then you have two credit card slots right, right there. And then really quick, I just wanted to do, I like to do these in my reviews, just show you what color it has online and this is actually coming across really accurate on camera what i have on my ipad here's what it looks like on camera and here's what it looks like in person again this is coming a little bit gray but this is a little bit more bluer than this this actually when you compare it when you look at this on its own it looks like a gray but when you compare it to the actual product this looks almost like a light lavender or like a really really light uh, lilac compared to the actual product now in terms of the capacity of what you can put in here this is more of like an essentials bag i really wouldn't um use this as an everyday bag but it's a nice essentials bag it's able to fit enough it's not a mini bag where you have to carry your phone in your hand you can fit your phone in here so let me go ahead and show you what i would put in here so i'm just going to go ahead and open it and i just want to make this quick remark before i keep going uh, the bag is a really structured bag but you can also squeeze it especially the quilted part you're able, it's like it has some element of puffiness to it. It's not just completely structured, like let's say the Vancouver de Millier. This has some wiggle room to it, but it's also structured enough that you don't need to fill it in all the way for it to keep this shape. I'm gonna stop talking now <laughs> and show you guys what fits. So I have a coach card holder and that fits in there. Just for reference, I can fit in my Victorine wallet in here but it takes up the majority of the space see i can do that and i can fit my phone in the back if i really wanted to but chances are if i'm carrying a bag like this i won't need everything that i have in my uh victorine wallet so for now i'm just going to put my card holder right there and i need to get a tory birch card holder that matches this bag airpods that match my bag how cute is that airpods my car keys, a compact, and I'm already kind of um, running out of room. I have my lip gloss. Can I put this standing up? Uh, no, so I'll just throw it here. And then a mini lipstick, a Band-Aid. I will put the band-aid 
back here. That I will put there because I don't need that swimming in my bag. Yeah, this compartment back here is pretty hard to get into, but that's that. Some mints. there and then you know your little perfume samples and things you can throw in there and my sunglasses they fit right on top in terms of a phone i have an iphone 8 here this is about the same size as the phone that i'm filming on which i have a 12 pro so if I wanted, let's say I already have everything in my bag. If I wanted to put that in there, that will fit. And that is not going anywhere. <laughs> I have to like really yank it out. So let me just put that in the bag. Let's flip this around. Boom. Fits perfectly. Even if you have a larger phone, you still have room in there. And I can still put my sunglasses up top and close the bag. Let's go ahead and try this on. So here it is as a shoulder bag. This tassel is kind of getting in the way. We might need to talk about this and take it off. But there it is double chained on the shoulder. I'm 5'7", about 150 pounds for reference. Here it is as a single chain uh, shoulder bag. It hits me right below the hip, a little bit too low for my preference. So in that case, you're able to wear it as a shoulder bag, but then leave the leather part on the other side so that it looks like a top handle and you get like a shorter shoulder bag. And then here it is crossbody. I probably won't wear it like this, but it's super cute. So some final thoughts on this bag. I am absolutely obsessed. I'm obsessed. I, I love this. I cannot wait to wear this all spring, all summer, maybe in the fall, maybe in the winter. This is a forever piece. I am in love with this color. I'm just in love with the size of it, of everything. It is such a high quality bag. I hope that you found this review informative. If there's anything that I missed or didn't go over, if you have any questions on this, please let me know in the comment section below. I love chatting with you all. And if you're debating on purchasing this bag, get it, just get it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.